Alright, so we are back. This is going to be Soap Season 4, Episode 18. Um, I'm still on my game, so part here, part there. Um, the last episode, I don't like where we ended the last episode because Jody is my favorite character. And they have done a hypnosis on him where he now thinks that he's an old man. And I hate it. <laughs> like, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and Mary Campbell. These are the Tates. Are the candles. And this is so Danny and Chester both recovered pretty well. We haven't that seen any problems from that. Right in the cup. Yeah, but does it, does it count as a bounce off that lady's head? <laughs> sure, sure, everything counts. You see the way that thing bounced off her? Why, she must have a steel plate in her. And if she doesn't, she will have. <laughs> I just, I mean, I hope she's okay. Oh, she's fine, she's fine. I don't know, she's still lying in that sand truck. <laughs> She's up, see? Whoops. <laughs> I got 45 in the front nine. I should wind up in the 90s today. Let's see what I get. Is he talking about a kill count or a stroke count? Because apparently Bert has killed a lady. Here, I got uh, 6, 3, uh, 136. <laughs> I'm going to finish under 300. <laughs> You're sure you've played this game before? Oh, yeah, sure. It's, it's uh, bursitis. It throws my game off totally. I got bursitis in my neck. Huh. I got some on my neck and in my shoulder and in my arm and in my back. A little in the face, too. It's been spreading like crazy. Oh, I love your sense of humor. <laughs> Should we tell him now? Sure. We were going to wait to tell you in the clubhouse, but the way you've been playing, I might not live long enough to finish this game. <laughs> uh, go on, Jack. Tell him the big news. Get ready, Bat. This is big. Are you ready? Okay. You sure you're ready? You bet. I love moments like this. It's like the Academy Awards. <laughs> Jack, you gonna tell him? Matt, how would you like a new job? A new job? Is that the way you tell him? With a build-up like that, you just say, how'd you like a new job? Uh, what, what new job? What's wrong with that? You kill the drama. <laughs> you totally kill the drama. I'm sorry. It's okay. I killed the drama. Just, <laughs> just forget about it now. You want to do the back nine or have lunch first? Hey, it doesn't matter to me. Excuse me, but you mentioned a new job. What's, uh, what sort of job? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Hard to believe he's the leader of a state. <laughs> if this is Texas, we'd have shot him a long time ago. How would you like to be Lieutenant Governor? Lieutenant Governor, me? Right. You already have one. I don't. Like so are these? Are they just shuffling his job so they can put somebody else in that will work with the mob people? Like <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> He's a gambling drunk. Right. He makes loud noises when he eats. Okay, Jack. I have to sit next to him at banquets. It makes me sick to my stomach. I got cows that eat softer than that. Ah, uh, Jack. Now, uh, one term is lieutenant governor, and then we'll run you for senator. We did a poll. People will vote for you. They like what you stand for. Well, you got a wonderful profile. Really? I never liked it very much. I never thought that the chin was strong enough. Yeah. Uh, there it is. 
hands again. That wonderful sense of humor. <laughs> you sure you don't have a little Jewish blood in you? <laughs> Senator Bat Campbell. Sounds good, huh? And Gene here will finance your campaign. What do you say? You'll finance my campaign? Be happy to. I need me a senator. I now own six governors, 18 congressmen, four attorney generals, 11 cars, 12 houses, but not one cent. He's already turned a complete 180 on what the people have voted for. The people love Bert. And he is completely transformed into Bat. It's not what the people want. But since he has the people's votes, of course, the political side is going to push him, push him out there because the people aren't going to understand that he is no longer Bert Campbell. This is frustratingly accurate. <laughs> Just josh it with you. You can't own people. <laughs> that misguided fellow Lincoln saw to that. I'm trying to hate everybody. No. What I'm saying is, I just have a real nice relationship with a whole lot of people. <laughs> what do you say, Senator? Gee, I wish my father were alive to see this. If he was a golfer, he'd probably kill him. <laughs> You know, Bat, we could hire somebody to play your father, like Melvin Douglas. He could campaign for you. He's got a mind like oatmeal. He'd get the senior citizen vote. What do you think about it, Bat? Now, you don't have to make any decisions on anything, uh, but just sort of get used to the idea, huh? Now, what do you say we keep playing, and uh, then we'll have lunch, huh? All right. You're up, Bat. Yeah. You got it. All right. I love it, so. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is that? on fire. <laughs> what happened to the Mercedes? They don't see it. I think it went over the cliff. <laughs> oh, this, what should I do? Change your grip. <laughs> Turn your wrist, keep your head down longer, and follow through. Now he should stop playing golf. He has a kill count at this point. He's killed like 20 people today. He needs to just call it a day. Hiya, big guy. Oh, how's it going? That's... Boy, you don't look too good. I don't? No, you look a little puffy. Puffy? Yeah, kind of like puffin' fresh. <laughs> puffin' fresh? Yeah, puffin' fresh, the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> Surgery will make That's you slept. bloat. I'm staying at the Y and I can't sleep a wink. Look up. I'm surrounded by winos and homos. The winos keep trying to steal my wallet. The homos just keep trying. <laughs> Why are you staying at the Y, then? Well, I haven't got any money. Uh, it's uh, why I ask you to meet me, Dutch. Would you loan me a little? <laughs> Dutch, only for a while. Come oh, big guy. Why don't you just come home? <sighs> what will it be? Eggs. You think you can make them without pens oil? <laughs> God, we got Sir Lawrence again. <laughs> Why do you come here? All you do is complain. I'm not complaining. I'm merely making a request. Yesterday, my poached eggs were served in an oil slick. <laughs> Did you want the crust cut out your toes again? <laughs> Please. I just have a coffee. It'll be greasy. <laughs> Miss you, and the pool is filthy. Come on. The pool. Brain to Dutch. 
The thought of Jess with a foreigner makes me so angry. I could kill. I've killed before. I'm afraid I'll kill again. I still love her, Dutch. I want her back. <laughs> oh, come on, big guy. Come on. You just stop and think about it for a minute. What's the big deal? They had one night of passion, right? <laughs> so what? One night, what's to get crazy about? So they strip. <laughs> what is that? Just bodies? <laughs> naked bodies. <laughs> so she gets naked with him. And he gets naked with her. <laughs> oh, kill him, kill him. I swear I'll kill him. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta watch your nerves, big guy. Chester is such a hypocrite, it's frustrating, because he cheated on her for decades. She's not even cheating on him at this point. They're completely separated. She's free to be with whoever she wants. He needs to chill. He's with somebody else. Like, the audacity. Gotta learn to live with life not being perfect. What do you think I've been doing lately? Things with me and Eunice is terrible. Oh, sorry, Dutch. My sex life is in a toilet. <laughs> she can't do it unless we do a fantasy. Dutch, Eunice is my daughter. Well, she should be in bed with Walt Disney. <laughs> One night I'm a cop, the next night I'm a stormtrooper, then I'm a forest ranger. I got a hell of a collection of boots now, let me tell you. <laughs> entertaining. Rest assured, I shall not do it here. That'll be three bucks for the meal. <laughs> and Dutch, uh, pay the man. I gotta get more coffee. Okay, sorry about that. I've been making it weaker and now I'm just guzzling it down. Chester here? Uh, no, not at the moment. He kind of, uh, stormed out. Come on in. Thanks. You okay? Great. How about you? Me? <laughs> Great. Good. That's good. <laughs> oh, God. I can't stand it. <laughs> but uh, Bert is no longer Bert. I mean, he's changed, you know? Chester's changed, too. Yeah, I don't want to talk to my mother about this problem. Cause she... Chester has not changed. Chester is an egotistical, hypocritical asshat, and he has been since episode one. He has presented himself differently to you, and you're now seeing who he really is, and you're saying he's changed. He has not. He's got enough problems. Gwen is gone, so I can't talk to her. And even if she were here so I could talk to her, I wouldn't have to talk to her because my problem is the fact that she's gone. You see, if she didn't I, go... I, I got I, it. Every time I get close to a woman, she either runs off or gets shot. I hope this is just a phase. Every time I get close to a man, he runs away too. And what is it with us? How come people are always running out on us? You don't suppose it's something we do that drives them away? You know, I mean, like, some disgusting habits we have? 
It must be. I mean, I have some really disgusting habits. Come on. How could you have any disgusting habits? Oh, I do. Mine are more disgusting. You want to talk disgusting habits, you are looking at the king. Nothing compared to mine. Oh, come on. You don't believe me? <laughs> okay, listen. Disgusting. But uh, I wouldn't leave you just because you drink like a St. Bernard. Chester's very sensitive. Oh, my nose. I hum when I eat. Yeah. Allergies. You don't believe me, do you? I don't even know I'm doing it. I make this mmm sound when I'm having dinner. It sounds like I'm making love. Do you ever get white stuff in the corners of your mouth? Are you kidding? I invented that. You're just saying that to make me feel better. Honest to God, I look like old Yeller right before they shot him. Is that why she left? I think it's my legs. What's wrong with your legs? Oh, come on, look. What? Too skinny. Oh, please. You have a great body. I wish I had your body. This whole frame is skinny. Why would skinny. you want my body? Your body's incredible. <laughs> you just say that. <laughs> no. Oh, really? If I wasn't feeling so terrible and you weren't my stepmother, I... <laughs> well, you know, I... I'd look at it harder. <laughs> well, if, if I wasn't feeling so... Miserable, I'd, uh, me too. I mean, you really have some great body. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm flattered. She's legally well, married to Chester great. at this point, right? I mean, I mean, thanks for letting me talk. You really made me feel better. Me too. Thanks. Anytime. And if you ever want to talk some more, I'd, I'd be happy to listen. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. I better get the hell out of here. <laughs> no, it's not that I want to. I just think... Yeah, I know. I'll see you. You hungry? Famished. There's a new pizza joint in town. If I love like... pizza. I'll hum. I'll order a Coke. I won't even hear. Well, Chester will probably kill Danny, but she's closer to Danny's age, at least, and Danny's less of a complete asshole than Chester, and Chester doesn't seem to really care about her since he's still obsessed over his ownership of Jessica because that's all he cares about it seems to be is his ownership of Jessica which he is no longer in control of although I don't like the pig either I'm not liking any of these characters very much anymore I actually talk Mary! Mary! Mary, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? The baby, Scotty, you all right? Is the baby sick? No, he's fine. <laughs> fine? Fine? You call the office hysterical? Say something unintelligible about the baby. I raise over here and you say he's fine? What's the matter with you? If I tell you, you'll think I'm crazy. Mary. Scotty's okay. He's okay. He's just a little exhausted from flying, so he's taking a nap right now. Flying. <laughs> He's flying now. I am not crazy. Scotty does not fly. I know for a fact it's genetic. Nobody in my family ever flew. Why won't you believe me? Maybe Scotty's being beamed. Yeah, did you actually see him fly? That's not the point. Has anybody ever seen him fly? I think Chuck. Chuck, Chuck talks to Bob. This is just not <laughs> his crib. Mary, baby's got a big crib. I don't know how. Normal 12 months old babies do not defy gravity. 
Going back to the office. He has superhuman strength. Harry. How did he push the toy chest across the room? Babies figure out how to do strings. I don't know how. How, how heavy could that toy chest be? Bert, it was built in. <laughs> didn't he? Have you come to take me away? Where do you want to go? <laughs> I'm confused. I'm Jody's analyst. Oh, my God. Goodness. <laughs> What's the matter with Jody? Oh, nothing, nothing. He's, he's fine. He's well, There's a little something I think you should be aware of. What? <sighs> uh, Julius? Right this way. Here we are. This is your home. See? Jody? This is my family? <laughs> this is not my family. <laughs> Julius, this is your mother. That's you. Have I mentioned that I hate this? That Jody was my favorite character, and I hate this? Who's me? This is not my mother. My mother looked like an elk. <laughs> this lady is a racket. <laughs> What's the matter with him? He thinks he's an old Jewish man. Jody, Jody. Oh, me, lady. I'm old enough to be your father. <laughs> what have you done to him? Well, we were searching. Uh, doctor. Uh... Are we dealing here with a highly complicated and rare schizophrenia and multiple personality crossover? And if not, should we rule out trauma? I think your analysis are most perceptive. Mm -hmm. However, in this case, it's a combination of sensory deprivation and hypnosis, resulting in a possible regression to a previous possible manifestation or incarnation, if you will. Two, it's fascinating. I've never heard of the case like this before. But you see, we were searching for the root <laughs> cause. Chuck must have been very educated before he needed Bob. Because he always knows quite a bit when he's talking to doctors. I'm talking to a dummy. <laughs> Talk to a puppet. He's got a point there. 
Listen to me now. Whatever you did to him, you undo, or I will sue you for malpractice, Pally. I will ruin you. It's all legal, Sheriff. He signed a waiver. How could this happen? Look, all I know is I was sitting in a delicatessen, minding my business, having a mild coronary. <laughs> Jody, oh, and please don't call me Jody. Jody is a name for a puppy. My name is Julius Kessendorf. I think you should call him Julius for the time being. Oh, and this is your medical opinion? <laughs> Look, he's still under treatment. I'll see him once a day, and hopefully we can pull him out of this thing. And how long would this take? Oh, a couple of days, a few weeks, several years. Just for a sit tight and keep a lot of gefilte fish in the house. I'll pick him up by first thing Tuesday. We have a Mike Douglas show in the morning. Here's my card. Call any time. Quickly. <laughs> you can't, you can't break my son. Oh, you're some kind of freak. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> I can't deal with this now. <laughs> the went outside. I don't believe this. My oldest stepson is not my nephew. My only real son talks to a puppet. My wife sees flying babies. My oldest stepson used to be gay. Now he's an old Jewish guy. <laughs> Well, I guess the real question is, is Julius straight? <laughs> Since that was the entire point of the hypnosis, was to make Jody straight. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> All right. Don't leave this house. Anybody. <laughs> Ever. Ever. <laughs> He's gonna bolt that door from the outside. This house is quarantined for crazy. Now that Jody is an old Jewish man, will Mary keep a kosher home? Will Bert become a senator? Or does Lee Trevino have something to worry about? Will Danny ever find happiness? Will he find it with his father's wife? And will Chester stop crying and try to get Jessica back? Or will he remain all choked up about her? These questions and many others will be answered in the next episode of Soap. Okay. I hate what they've done with Jody. Chester needs to get the fuck over himself. I'm perfectly fine with Danny and Chester's wife. What's her name? I... I genuinely don't know her name, but I'm fine with that because Danny needs somebody that's closer to his age and fuck Chester and also fuck whatever is happening with Jody. I hate this. <laughs>